Hi, my name is Susie Studenface, and I'm in sixth grade science, and our current unit is Growing and Flowing. Our teacher provided us with an essential question for this unit, which is, how do plants survive, and how do they reproduce? This video will explain how plants reproduce. In order to understand how a plant reproduces, you have to understand the structure of the flower. All right, so um, with plants, you have um, both sexual organs present. Um, let's see here. First, we're gonna start by showing you guys um, the petals, okay? So that's on the outside right here of the flower. We also, and then we'll take a look at the male part of the flower. So right here we have the stamen, and that is made up of the filament, this long piece here, and then the anthers at the top, which hold the pollen, okay? Um, the female part of the plant is called the pistil, and that's right here, okay? Um, at the top we have the stigma, that's right there. Then we have the style, right here, we have the ovary, and then inside the ovary, we have the ovules right there. Our teacher showed us all of this in class, and we kind of, um, my group and I kind of wondered, um, is it always this easy to tell the different parts of a plant, or could it be harder in real life? So, our teacher let us go out to the garden and try this experiment and see if it worked. So we got to go out to the school garden, and we went and we brought scissors and some water so the plant wouldn't get dried out, and we found a flower to bring back to the classroom. Here you can see a picture of me carefully dissecting the flower. Okay, so now that we've dissected the flower, we're going to label everything right here. Easiest thing on the flower, we have the petals. Okay, looking in closer, um, let's take a look at the male part of the plant first. Okay, we have the stamen. Um, the top part of the stamen is called the anther. And then this long piece of the stamen is called the filament. Okay. If we look at the female part of the plant, I've kind of taken it apart here. You guys will see those are the different pieces of the female part of the plant, which all together is called the pistil. Okay. And the pistil consists of the stigma. It consists of the style, and then right here at the bottom we have the ovary, which has in it the ovules. Okay, so I promised that I would explain how plants reproduce, okay, and I just explained the structure of a flower because flowers are really important. So let me tell you about it. So here is another diagram of a flower and this time I'm going to explain how the reproduction of the flower actually works. So the male parts of the flower, the stamen made up of the filament and the anth anther, produce pollen that um, hangs out up here on the anth anther. And what happens is um, pollinators, which, you know, it could range, pollinators could range, it could include the wind, um, it could include ants and beetles, or a really common pollinator is a bee. Pollinators come and they transfer the pollen from the anther to the stigma, right here, okay? Or they could also, um, you know, take it to stigmas of other plants. Um, what happens after that is the pollen, um, you know, goes down the stigma, 
um, to the ovaries and it fertilizes the ovules. The, um, the ovules will become seeds and either those seeds will, the flower will decompose and the seeds will go back into the ground or it might become a fruit. Okay, it might become a fruit, and if it becomes a fruit, it might even be consumed by a consumer, like a bear. Okay, and if that happens, it will eventually be digested and then end up in feces, which also goes back into the ground and the whole cycle starts over again. And that is how a plant reproduces. Thanks for watching.